hey y'all welcome back to my channel i know it's been a long time since i posted but i am back and that's all that matters so i decided to do a play on a caramel apple cake for my daughter's 11th birthday it was just on the 11th so 11 on 11 so i just cooked my apples for about um 30 minutes or until they tender i did just put the ingredients that i used so once i did that it started from it's time for me to start decorating the cake um now i just put the apples on that bottom layer this is this cake is for kids now from my understanding my daughter did tell me that the kids did like the apples but i only put it on the bottom layer and i sprinkled some of that dulce de leche on the top instead of doing the caramel i did the dulce de leche that's when you boil your condensed milk for about four hours and it turned to this dulce de leche sauce so i did a three layer cake now that bottom layer i had the apples with the dulce de leche sauce and then the top layer i didn't put anything this just because this like this how i like to frost my cakes if i'm using a filling i don't like the whole cake to have filling just in case you you know you have those people that like just the frosting and i'm kind of something sort of like that sometimes you know probably if i want to eat an apple i eat the apple if not i don't have to but i did crumb coat and did my layer of frosting i do have a video on how i frost my cakes now this purple layer that i did it is an ombre effect the butterfly cake toppers that i used from amazon actually had a cake designed like this something similar but i just changed it up just a little bit my daughter really liked it so this is what i did for her and this purple layer is really thin because my daughter already told me, Mom, I don't want the frosting nasty because the purple frosting can be nasty because, you know, if it's real dark, it will be bitter. And I'm sure y'all know this, like those dark colors can be very bitter. So I did a very thin layer of the colored frosting on the outside. Now, once I finished um, smoothing out my buttercream i use my cake cone now i think i got this cake cone from walmart years and years and years ago <laughs> so instead of just dragging the cake cone just straight across i wanted to do some up and down motions make little heels give it a little more dimension you know something a little different and once i finished with that i started to throw some pearls on the cake now the problem with this was i was in close proximity to the cake and all the pearls were going in the same they were all sticking it in the same area so i had to stand back a little bit and then just start throwing the like pull my not um what make my turntable turn and then just stand back and just throw the pearls and they were going everywhere hey but it worked clean up that cake board and this is what I finished with she really loved the cake. I love how it turned out. Let me know what y'all think. Don't forget to subscribe by clicking that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And don't forget to comment. And I'll see y'all in the next video. See y'all.